Hey K-popers and welcome back to How Are You? I am so excited for today's deep dive which is all about the legend herself, Hyuna. We'll start by looking at her debut as an idol all the way back in 2007 and then talk about how she started building a career as a soloist. Next we'll talk about how she blew up into a global superstar in 2011 and of course talk about how she stuck it to Cube when her relationship with Edon came to light. And finally we'll take a look back on her career thus far and see what we can take away from it. Before we get started, a quick thank you to Hallyu's honorary producers. Hallyu's patrons get to show off their bias group right here in every video, they get to have their say in future videos and projects on the channel, and they get access to the official Hallyu Discord server where they can chat about K-pop and even listen to it together. So if you want to leave your mark on Hallyu and be a part of our growing community, come join us over on Patreon. So let's jump right into this deep dive about one of K-pop's all-time greatest solo artists. Kim Hyuna was born on June 6, 1992 in Seoul and has gone by the stage name Hyuna ever since her first debut. And I say first debut because many newer fans don't know this, but Hyuna's career as an idol started off in Wonder Girls. In 2006, JYP revealed Hyuna as the rapper for the group, and so Hyuna was one of the original five members of the JYP girl group. Of course, Wonder Girls also included Sunmi, so there were multiple future powerhouse soloists in that group. Wonder Girls had their debut with the song Irony, and Hyuna continued promoting with them for several months. This included participating in their TV show MTV Wonder Girls and co-hosting show Music Core with groupmates Sohee and Fly to the Sky's Brian Ju. Unfortunately though, behind the scenes, Hyuna was struggling with her health and her parents took her out of the group because they were concerned for her. Keep in mind, Hyuna was only 15 in international age at the time. And it turned out Hyuna had been battling chronic gastroenteritis and fainting spells all that time. Hyuna had a strong desire to show the world her talent though and she did not let this setback stop her. In 2008, Hyuna joined Cube Entertainment, and in May of 2009, Cube announced that Hyuna would be debuting in the upcoming girl group 4 Minute. Now, you may be wondering why it was over a year before 4 Minute's debut after Hyuna joined the label, and there's actually a crazy story behind that. You see, 4 Minute was actually supposed to debut sooner, but Hyuna and the girls all turned off their phones one day and went out into the city. Their managers were furious, and as a punishment, they delayed 4 Minute's debut as a group. Anyways, on June 15th, 4 Minute did finally debut with Hot Issue, and with that, a new era of Hyuna's career began. Before long, Hyuna was collaborating with other artists and appearing in their MVs, including Lee Gi Kwang's 2009, Navi's Wasteful Tears, and the Brave Brothers' Bittersweet. Hyuna was then selected to be a part of Samsung's promotional Dream Team girl group, and holy moly was it ever a Dream Team. It consisted of Hyuna, Kara Sungyun, After School's Ui, and Brown Eyed Girl's Gaiyin. They released the song Tomorrow, and Hyuna also had an individual MV version. At long last, Hyuna's soloist debut came in the form of the song Change, a song that took the charts by storm and finished at number 14 on Gowan's yearly digital chart. The MV was actually pretty controversial at the time though, and it was flagged as 19 plus by Korea's Ministry of Gender Equality and Family. The networks had a different idea though, as SPS said it was fine for 15 plus, and NBC said it was just fine for everyone. Despite this hiccup though, Hyuna was about to reach a whole new level of superstardom. That breakthrough came on July 5th, 2011 at the hands of her first EP Bubble Pop with the title track of the same name. This song holds a very special place in my heart as it's the first K-pop song that I ever saw in the one that got me into K-pop 10 years ago. So there you go, if it weren't for Hyuna, we may never have had a Hallyu. And I wasn't the only one who saw Hyuna's MV. It garnered a million views in two days and reached the top of YouTube's daily most watched chart. It was also the first K-pop soloist MV to ever hit 100 million views on YouTube, and it was getting recognition from Billboard, Spin Magazine, and many other outlets. It was so popular that the song was even used in this Family Guy episode, with some of the visual editing even matching up to Hyuna's MV as well. Quagmire. Quagmire. <laughs> Hyuna was on a roll in 2011, and in November of that year she teamed up with label mate Hyun Sung of Beast to form the duo Troublemaker. The two made their debut on December 1st, 2011 with the song Troublemaker in a sultry MV which also performed incredibly well on the charts. And while I will be doing a separate deep dive just on 4 Minute, I do feel obligated to mention that throughout these years Hyuna was also slaying as part of that group. They had so many fantastic songs like Heart to Heart, Volume Up, and I Might Me Mine. Now how could Hyuna possibly top her streak of hits? Well, how about being in the most viewed K-pop MV of all time? That's right, it was just months later that Hyuna appeared in Sai's Gangnam Style and even had her own MV version called Opa is Just My Style. At this point, everyone around the world had seen Hyuna, K-pop fan or not. And just a couple of months after that, Hyuna was back with a cameo from Sai in her latest comeback, Ice Cream. In my view, Ice Cream is where Hyuna really laid the groundwork for her future image as a soloist because, as you can see, Hyuna went for a very provocative concept and commanded the performance all the way through the MV. 
Kiana really started to become a global icon by 2013, and this included tons of sponsorships. One that I feel obligated to mention is this Toyota collab called My Color. And that's because, by pure coincidence, this is actually the exact make, model, and color of my personal car. Kiana was also making herself known in the US. Check out this Funny or Die sketch where she collaborated with Rita Ora. Well, in the US, she also performed at the K-pop Night Out South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. At the risk of repeating myself, Hyuna was on a roll and pumping out provocative hits one after the other with Red and Because I'm the Best being her next solo comebacks. And then, the end of an era was upon us. On June 13th, 2016, Cube announced that 4 Minute had disbanded. For those of us who remember 2016 in K-pop, it was a dark year and losing the legendary girl group was no small part of that. Hyuna was the only member who re-signed with the label and she continued her solo career with the song How's This. And then, after a successful Asian tour, Cube announced that Hyuna and two Pentagon members, Hui and Idon, would be forming a new trio called Triple H, a move that, unbeknownst to everyone involved, would become the beginning of the end for Hyuna at Cube. This is, of course, because 16 months later, photos of Idon and Hyuna together were leaked to the public. Cube instantly came out and denied dating rumors, but Hyuna and Idon held an interview with Yunhap News that same day, saying that they were, in fact, dating. And not only that, but that they had been dating since May 2016, so for over two years they had been dating already. And then Cube threw a temper tantrum. They cancelled all of Triple H's planned performances, on-air appearances, fan events, you name it. They even cancelled a fan sign the very next day. A month later, Cube said that they would be terminating both Hyanna and Edon's contracts, citing a quote, loss of trust. Their official statement said in part, after much deliberation, we've concluded that the trust between the company and the artists had been damaged to a degree that it cannot be restored, leading us to believe expulsion is necessary. Now, don't let the corporate speak fool you. Hyuna and Idon were in charge every step of the way here. When Cube says that trust was damaged, it means that Cube likely asked them to break it off and conform to their standards, which the two were very clearly not going to do. Let's face it, they're both huge idols who make Cube lots of money. Cube didn't want to lose them. But they were too stubborn and frankly just inhumane to realize that Hyuna and Idon were in a loving, long-term relationship and that if anything, that was making their work even better. And on October 15th, Hyuna proved beyond the shadow of a doubt that she and Idon were the ones in charge. Check out this footage of the two of them leaving Cube after everything was finalized. <laughs> And of course, as we all know, that was not the end for either artist. Both Idon and Hyuna signed on to P Nation, the label run by Psy, and Hyuna was back in action on November 5th, 2019 with the song Flower Shower. And just weeks ago, after a long delay due to health issues relating to vasovagal syncope, Hyuna released her latest track, I'm Not Cool. So I know there's already a lot to take in about Hyuna's awe-inspiring story here, but much like last week with Soman, I want to spend a bit of time talking about what we can take away from Hyuna's career and why she's such a great example for us to follow. First of all, Hyuna took care of herself and persevered through health setbacks. Remember, back in 2007, she left Wonder Girls to address health problems. But she had a dream of becoming a superstar and she worked hard to return to the spotlight with 4 Minute. And when Hyuna kicked off her solo career, she did it her way. All the way through from change to ice cream to roll deep and beyond, Hyuna had a sexy badass image that pushed the boundaries of K-pop. She was and continues to be strong, fierce, and in charge, and not just in her music. And this leads us to why I have so much respect for her. Kiana didn't care about the rules. She didn't care about Cube's dating ban. She always did what she wanted and what was best for her. Kiana is a superstar with a ton of pull and she knows it. That's why she didn't back down when Cube no doubt called her and Edon into private meetings about their dating. Instead of caving into a huge label, she stuck it back to them and made them pay for losing one of their biggest stars. She knew she didn't need Cube to continue succeeding because she trusted herself, her talent, and her hard work. And that's something I truly look up to Hyuna for, being able to see your own worth and being your own advocate and fighting for what you deserve all the way along. Kim Hyuna's story is one of incredible determination backed by outstanding talent and a fierce ambition to be herself. And it's one that's empowering for all of us. If you have the drive to succeed, don't let anyone stand in the way of your love, your career, or your integrity. You'll succeed because of who you are, just like Hyuna did. Alright guys, that is Hyuna's story so far. What did you think of her inspiring story, and what Hyuna relates is your favorite from over the years? As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe because we explore a new story like this one and enjoy lots of other K-pop content every single week right here at Hallyu. This has been Deep Dive number 40, Hyuna.